हेलो इंजीनियर्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू सिविल निर्माण इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल एक्सप्लोर एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वार्निंग इन स्टैट प्रो विच इज रिलेटेड टू दी स्लेंडर सेक्शन एंड देर डिजाइन अकॉर्डिंग टू आई एस एच हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड सेवन नाउ इफ यू हैव एवर एनकाउंटर अ वार्निंग लाइक दिस वेर इट स्पेसिफाइज मेंबर इज स्लेंडर एंड कैन नॉट बी चेक फॉर द मोमेंट फोर्सेस Don't worry in this video we'll break down what is this means and why it happens and how to resolve it we'll also discuss the relevant provisions from IS 800 2007 so let's dive in so usually when you design a steel structure using IS 800 2007 certain times you will encounter this particular category of the warning where it specifies that bending design cannot be performed for any slender section other than i shape sections with non slender flanges now this warning can be confusing for beginners but it's directly tied to how stat pro handles the design of slender sections under is 800 2007 now for the beginners i'll just brief about the slender sections see what are slender sections so first let's understand what a slender section is see According to IS 800 2007 clause 3.7.2 a slender section refers to a steel cross section where the individual elements like the flanges of an I beam are so thin relative to their length that they buckle locally before reaching to the yield stress meaning they are prone to premature failure under the compression due to their high slenderness ratio see this classification is based on the section's geometry and it is used to determine the design consideration for such members in a particular steel structure see these limits are detailed in table 2 of is 800 2007 and you can check out this particular table the flange of an i section is considered slender if its width to thickness ratio exceed 9.5 times the square root of e upon fy right where b t e fy all the parameters are detailed in the table see slender sections are prone to local buckling which makes their behavior under loads more complex so now let's understand how stad is going to design such category of the sections means what is the flow of the stad See, in stat pro the design of slender section is handled cautiously here is the key point see if the web of an i section is slender but the flanges are non slender stad will design the section for axial and shear forces so this is the point you need to remember however bending checks are still performed under certain conditions if even one flange is slender stad will not calculate bending capacity and the warning will be issued why because stad follows the is 800 2007 code which doesn't provide a clear method for designing slender flanges under the bending so let's take one example to understand this so let's take any of the i section from the steel table okay with a slender flange right so what it does see the track parameter is set to 2 for the detail output after running the analysis the following warning is displayed that bending design cannot be performed for any slender section other than i shape sections with non slender flanges so if you check out in the member query dialog box the bending capacity is reported as zero this means stat didn't check for bending now here is the importance always check the track to output for such warnings as this might not appear in the standard results now how will you resolve this issue so let's talk about the solution part see to resolve this issue you have two options first increase the section size means use a section with non slender flanges or check the width to thickness ratio using table 2 of is 800 2007 that is the first option second redesign using is 800 one for thin welded cold form sections you can design according to the is 801 code which provides the method for sandal sections third verify the absence of bending forces see if your member primarily carries axial or shear forces ensure no significant moments exist and here is another important tip see stat pro 2023 has updated this particular routine to handle some cases where the web is slender but the flanges are not 
provided there is no bending. And to resolve all this, always you need to remember following key clauses as I have listed below. See clause number 3.7.2 which defines your cylinder section, clause number 8.2.1 which discuss the design of compression members and clause number 8.2.2 which explains the buckling class concept. So always ensure your design aligns with this particular provisions. And that's it for today's video. In this particular session we have covered what are cylinder sections, how Statro handles their their design and steps to resolve this particular welding. See, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more structural engineering tips and tutorials. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comments below. Until next time, keep learning, keep sharing and always remember, don't just learn software, learn concepts. Thank you.